<laughs> with the guy with big hands, and Again. I think he has Tourette's. And he's getting a pie as well. It's called Mama's Diarrhea Pie when I'm done with that. Right, and, let me, and if you threw that pie at a black person, you are going in general population. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm saying is, Chuckles, you know, we, we enjoy your company here in the studio on the show. Be careful. <laughs> I don't agree. The, the, this company below us, um, again, your show comes on and the evil satanic music comes up. Normally, I enjoy that, but I can't see what's going on, so it's a tease. It is. Well, I think there's only one guy down there in the basement right now in the studio. Oh, below. that's no guy. That's a demon. Oh, there's, there's <laughs> two right now, Ed? Those are demons. Okay. Well, but they are two guys. So I'm, I'm not sure if you want to visualize what's going it's on. It's succubus and incubus. W- when I first arrived this evening, uh, there was one guy already down there watching. I believe it was Archie and Edith Bunker. <laughs> a- and then the satanic music started and stopped for a little while. Uh, we questioned them about the heat. To and there was we, some pop punk playing for a little while. Yes, to that's true. Up. We questioned about the heat and they laughed. And, and, and then we started this, and I lost track of what's going on. But there are still two gentlemen, loosely termed, <laughs> downstairs uh, doing God knows what, playing evil satanic, satanic music. music. Uh, I think they're um, calling the mothership. <laughs> yeah, the last, the last time I came upon this combination of doing God knows what and disturbing, well, it wasn't music, it was <laughs> images. I remember when I went to see The Dawn of the Dead. Uh, no, Day of the Dead, excuse me. It was Day of the Dead, George Romero's Day of the Dead. And, um, you know, my friend and I were sitting in the cinema, and two rows in front of us, there was this guy sitting by himself. And every time the zombies started tearing somebody apart and you saw the gut start to hit the ground, this guy started shaking in a frenzy of enthusiasm, and you didn't, couldn't see where his hand was anymore. Ah, he's one of those types. So, yeah. So basically, ah. we spent the whole day of the dead Oddly watching. enough, I've watched several videos, and I'm going to use the term videos on this one, <laughs> yeah. at the Columbus Theater before they revamped the whole thing. Oh, God. And almost the exact same thing happened. What happened, right. Exactly. Unfortunately, there was no carnage going on. And the movie was called Dildo of the Day, <laughs> not That's Day it, of dild- the Dead. Dildo of the Dead. Right, but my point is that. In the Columbus Theater back in the days when there were three X's on the door. Yep. And you had somebody in there that was <laughs> stroking to the movie. At least they were stroking to human at a me- at conventional. A medium pace. Huh? At a medium pace. Right. At least they were stroking to conventional human sexual activity. What disturbed us at Day of the Dead. <laughs> stroking. Is that this guy was obviously stroking to human beings being <laughs> torn to shreds and their guts being eaten out of their midsections. And all of- that, doesn't, that doesn't strike you as a little more dangerous well. fetish of pornography? I, I was just going to ask that question. Do you Homeland really sec- want to go down... Homeland Security, is li- they're on their way to pick up two of you guys now. Do you really want to go down the whole fetish list of people that get excited from autoerotic asphyxiation? You, uh, the people that get all right, excited. Let me st- all right, let me stop you right there, Ed. Necrophilia. Uh, you're asking me on the haunted cabaret no, no, if I want to go down the fetish list. If you want to go down than, the fetish I am, list, I am more than prepared for this. How, as however, long as you don't demonstrate right in front of me. <laughs> well, there are a few puppets I may have to bring out to ex- you know to show you what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey show us on the to keep those puppets at home. Show us on the Chuckles doll where you were touched <laughs> by law. <laughs> you are to keep those dolls at home. Well, I, I'll show you with Krusty the Clown over here. <laughs> no, I, I stop right there. The only we can discuss fetishes for the rest of the show. All I'll say though is, if there's going to be any demonstrations on dolls, I want it to be on those lifelike female. Anyone see the HBO special of murderous back? dolls? Yeah, no, I, were, I've seen it. They, they've actually evolved since the HBO. Because you see, wow. I being an evolved person as I am, right. I have the Playboy channel. Right, so kept, never mind with the, the, the so HBO. you've kept up on these new advances in uh, sex. They dolls. they have them to the point where they're freakily human. Right. Okay. That this is what I'm waiting for. I think an Asian married one. Didn't you? The, oh, there there was one that married his sex doll. Yes, that is correct. Um, by the way, that was Seth from the Rock Report. Seth's Rock Report. Uh, he, he's been sitting back because, you know, being Seth from the Rock Report, 
We have not talked anything about rock in quite but a while. We, but we will on this show. So we will. Okay. His patience will be rewarded. So, yeah, actually, that's a good point. We can't spend the rest of the show on fetishes because we have to talk about music. Okay, at least half the show. Right, but as far as, yeah, but Eddie, keep me updated on those new advanced cutting-edge sex dolls. I'll, I'll send you, I will George, send you an email because George, I, I unfortunately am on the mailing list. George is getting married soon, so he's going to need one. <laughs> uh, well, no, I won't have to get married soon if I... <laughs> Wow. Hey. <laughs> if the doll can cook, that's a, it. A sex doll won't take half your stuff. <laughs> I'm easy. All the doll has to say is, you know, give me the load and you know, oh, good God. maybe smack it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> if that's all it has to say, yeah, just save up the oh, and not only $1,400 or whatever it is, and they've already got them. That'll and not only, that. by the, not only say it, it has to be able to do it. Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Okay, no. They, they, robotics no. are involved. With all right, this. Ki- yeah, kid- all right. All kidding aside, that's what what I'm waiting for the level to be reached is if these creatures can move. It's already they there. I mean, the only thing they can't do is walk next to you as you're going to the grocery store, or walk next to me as I go see Goat Horror or something like that. Exactly. Well, this is what I'm waiting for. Basically, I want a Terminator sex doll. Who will <laughs> satisfy my every sexual desire? And then kill you, and then kill no, then kill my enemies. <laughs> oh well, no these these are more of a, picture a paraplegic who who does move their hands a little bit and has an amazing sucking response. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to go with explaining of those, and they do have them where you can have a voice track with them. Okay, so for. Total realism, though. I'm sure you could buy a customized paraplegic sex doll, right? Exactly. Then, then you're dealing with complete realism. Oh, no. I mean, you, you could count, go down to as how many hairs you want in the pubis. You, you could say, I want 172 hairs arranged this way on the pubis, and, and I want this colored uh, areola, and I want well, this course, color eyes. Cust- customized, right. And, and they make them exactly. And you could even pick out, hey, I want such and such a person's voice. And they will customize the whole thing to you. It's only money. Kind of like my ex. So I can get my ex-girlfriend's voice in this thing, the one that never wanted to do oral. <laughs> exactly. And then, like, I'll tell you, this is. At that price, she and will. The, and I the mean, best what the hell are you is, wasting your money on? Actually, I could pay my ex-girlfriend that price, and she would. And well, the yeah, best part is, is you can it. clean her up with a garden hose when you're done and throw her in the closet. <laughs> you can't do that with a real person. You know, I will right, argue not alive, that. Not alive. Chuckles, yeah, yeah, I will argue, argue that. that. Yes, you Chuckles. can do that with a real person. <laughs> They're just well, a little dead. Well, 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 the heart is still beating. You, you're not supposed to put it that way. It, it beats. There's a, few, there's a few charges. people in our immediate social circle that need to be hosed down outside. So. <laughs> 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 Good. It's, it's okay. Is it De- but- Deadly Dan, if you're listening, you're one of the people that need to be hosed down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take care of that right now. <laughs> All right. Well, Chuckles is taking care of that. Um, yeah, Tony, want to get back to the music for a couple of minutes? We are actually going to go down to some Michael Graves off of Night of Sam Hain. <laughs> Again, you cannot make up these segues. Rari- radio serendipity, if you will. The name of this track is Dead Man, right here on Rhode Island Free Radio. <laughs> Oh 
Last Kiss, the name of that one, some local music from the Evil Streaks right here on Rhode Island Free Radio, online at uh, rifreeradio.org. Before yeah, that, we heard from Michael Graves, Dead Man, the name of that one. You cannot make up these segues. No, I'll tell you, when it comes time to design my uh, customized, you know, realistic sex doll, I think it, she might look a lot like Myra from the Evil Streaks. I will steal her from you. I'll share. No, I do not do sloppy <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Ew. Oh, good God. If you use the proper sanitizer, it'd be like it, it's never been used exactly. before. Man, no, exactly. man, my look at half the price. My look, right. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll be I'll pulling the pubic letter. hair out of my urethra <laughs> afterwards. I get stuck there. <laughs> no, no, the, the, no. These things are designed to be fully cleaned and reused. Oh yeah, I no, mean. you could use a garden hose, hose this thing down, blow it out, and they, they have ex- escape ports for. Uh, any bodily fluids which are left behind, <laughs> you just leave it on your bed and let it drip out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you though, we've been uh, let's what would you say making light of this subject up until True. now. But we were talking under the music. Uh, this I'll tell you, culturally <laughs> and society wise and technologically, especially sociologically, I guess this realistic sex doll thing, male and female, this is going to be a cultural changer. I guess oh, it was, definitely. I mean, we're approaching a point where as soon as these things look realistic enough and can act realistic enough. The nerds get laid. Well, no, the nerds are still not going to get laid because. <laughs> well, could, well, nerds will have no. to ask mom for the money. Could you, the, could you the, imagine the realistic sex style booth at a Rhode Island Comic Con? Oh, my God. They'd be going just like hotcakes. <laughs> yeah, no, you. No, you guys are missing one thing, that the nerds are still going to be afraid to ask out the sex dolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the sex doll you, will still deny them. And the sex doll no. is still going to slap them in the face. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at it, the price of one of these new, highly techni- technologically advanced sex dolls right. is only a little bit more than a very high price hooker. call girl. And it's much cheaper than marrying a chick and buying her a house. <laughs> right, and you get to keep this, this creature indefinitely. Ex- Probably we, routine We won't use creature, but we'll, we'll use... Uh, being. No, it's not even a being. It, it isn't it. It is a toy. Oh, yeah, toy. Uh, it, it's still made out of silicone and plastics and latex and... and Exactly. Uh, if you didn't hear that, someone in the corner said it's a man's vibrator, and that's pretty much what it boils well, let's, down to. Well, let's to. not forget that there's these these beings are going to come in two sexes. 
Of we, course. We've been, we've been talking about females.